Hello everybody, my name is Boathouse. I'm here at Soundscape Studios and I figured I would take you guys through some of the production on um, our latest compilation, the album that myself and Closed Sessions put out. And I figure I'll start with track number two on the project, $100 Bills, uh, with myself obviously on the beat and Dave B from Seattle on the raps. Let's just kind of take it back. Let's see where we started. So I think the first thing I found with this song was this little like ukulele loop right here. So all these tracks right here is the ukulele. So sample track right out the top, ukulele loop, and then we have this synth track above it. And the synth track kind of just has some extra added flavor that comes in and out of the beat. When the drums start building up in this song, the keys come in, the electric piano, and on its own, it sounds like this. Yeah, so just smooth, warm, sort of like filtery keys, keeping that vibe going, and it goes in and out on beat. Just slight differentiations. I really like to do that as a producer, is kind of just like change things subtly. The subtleties are really going to go a long way and kind of keep the listener interested. So it's like a little subtle subtle change goes a long way. So lots of that going on in this song, especially with how simple it is. Um, the only other synthy instrument is this one right here. You can kind of tell like these little plucks right here. And I made those in serum and those sound like this. Very simple, very simple little pluckies. But just a little echo you can kind of tell on there and that's about it. Simple stuff, the melody part of this song all together. It's gonna sound like this. So you can tell kind of how they sort of start working with each other. Um, very intricate ways it kind of becomes less about the separation of each individual instrument and they all kind of come together um, and add like this cool atmospheric thing there's a couple subtle things that happen in there and a couple not so subtle things that happen with that loop first thing would be this one right here that's a little chop And that's really going to add to the bounce of the song once we get those drums kicking in. And then we have this track and this track. And these ones are reversed parts of the ukulele loop. Pulls you in. It like pulls you into that next note. Keeps the flow going in an interesting way. Okay, melody section over. Let's talk about the drums. The drums of this song go like this kick snare hats that's it and then there's kind of a weird perk in there like a percussive sort of reverby thing um but that's it very simple uh let's start with the kicks not a whole lot on that kick i think i remember when i was making it that the kick came in pretty hot already if you start with good sounds you end with a good product snare we got a lot going on in the snare region so here's my snare kind of folder group thing all of these right here let's break it down so first first on the uh snare track is this noise right here rim, rim shot just a little rim shot nice little cute thingy um then we got this one And then that one, that's a good one. That's just like your little snap. So we got two kind of snappy things. We got this rim shot, putting some wood in the snare. We got this snappy one, good impact. And then this one is sort of like your, your texture layer. All together, they make up the snare of the song, which is a little cute little rim shot in there. You know, whatever. Hi-hats. Just some loops, hi-hat loops. There's two of them working together. So we have the first one right here. 
very like small and pointy hi-hats, not overpowered, not in your face. When I was in the session with Dave, we made a ton of music. We cooked up a few songs in, in about two days. Um, and I was doing this thing that those days, just something weird that I don't normally do with the hi-hats. I'd take the loop and I'd pitch it up a decent amount. Everything just gets smaller. I didn't reinvent the wheel or anything like that. I just pitched these hi-hats up because I preferred how that sounded. And that's all there is to it. Um, then there's this other layer. So I pitched that hi-hat down about 10 semitones and together they sound pretty cool, um, especially because the second loop, the pitch down one, I chopped it up a bunch, so there's a lot of spaces kind of in between it, um, moving stuff around, just so that it adds a different kind of accent on certain hits. And then there's this perk right here. It's just like a weird open hi-hat that got pitched down this one's pitched down 15 semitones. This one's pitched down 17. So they're acting as sort of like different melodic hits, but they're a percussive instrument. So they're just pitched down differently to add to the melody of that hook. Um, and I'll show you when I play it with Dave's words here. Is he different when we wipe on with honey? So yeah, when it's played all together, those percussive kind of airy open hat thing that I turned down is just like another melodic element to it. Also, bass. We didn't talk about the bass in this song. Oh my God, what am I thinking? So the bass in this song is a one shot put into a sampler. And what that means is it was an audio file of a bass hit and I put it in my sampler right here and I can play it across the keys anywhere I want. Now that bass came in sounding like this. Kicked up the drive right here. Cut a little bit of the high end off with that cutoff knob. It went from this to this. It doesn't have so much harshness on it, but it's still being pushed. It's linked into my transposer right here in Logic, which keeps it in key because I don't know how to play the piano and I know barely anything about musical theory. So that's why I use a transposer. It keeps me in line. It's like auto-tune for people who don't know how to play piano. And yeah, that's the bass. I had a lot of fun working with Dave B. Super cool dude. Uh, came in with a lot of cool ideas and I think we really vibed really well. Made a lot of good music. Um, I just love this song. I love the way that it turned out. And it's definitely one of my favorites on the project. So I wanted to break this one down and give you guys kind of a feel for it. I hope you liked this sort of breakdown of uh, my track, $100 Bills, featuring Dave B. Go listen to our latest compilation, the album I did with Closed Sessions on Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever music is heard. Go listen to that. See you next time. Peace.